If you're a managed service provider with a focus on managing hosted infrastructure, then you may have invested in creating a data center of your own in a co-location facility. Such data center deployments can be fun to create and historically have been able to provide significant margin advantages when pricing and selling managed infrastructure services at scale. With significant technology and pricing changes due to the emergence of public cloud in recent years, it's now time to evaluate if maintaining and investing in your current data center is still the best option for your business. Microsoft is making significant investments in driving partner adoption of Azure with programs like data center optimization. If you have not explored the pros and cons of migrating your data center to Azure, Nerdio and Microsoft are going to share with you a number of reasons why you should consider making the switch. I'm Joseph Landis, and I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Nerdio, and I'm here today with Adam Burke, who is the Director of Partner Solutions at Microsoft for the Data Center Optimization Team. We're going to tell you why it's time to move your on-premises data center to the cloud with Microsoft Azure. So Adam, when thinking about moving to Microsoft Azure, how should an MSP think about their investment in their existing hardware and refreshing that hardware? So I think private data center deployments are typically a CapEx investment for MSPs, which is capitalized and then depreciated over the course of the useful life of that equipment. And with warranties and equipment like SANS and infrastructure, you know, typically depreciating over a four to five year period, that's a sizable investment over those 60 months. But it does create a very attractive structure on the P&L until it comes time to refresh that equipment. When the initial investment is made with compute, storage, and networking, everything is new and performing well. But over time, as that equipment ages, you start to have uh, potential issues as it relates to reliability with potential component failures that can really affect the overall experience of an MSP's customers. Replacing that equipment is not only a significant capital expense, but it's also a challenge to do that in a way that's not disruptive to customers. As MSPs start to move forward with a approach of transitioning infrastructure, considering Azure is a great option as they look at the next five-year period of their customer journey and how they can best enable them.